Here we are at the newly renovated Siemens Arts and Administration Building, or Saab for short. You may recall this building was once the school's library. This building opened in 1978 and was named in honor of Jim and Mary Siemens, two of the school's founders. After the current library and learning commons opened in 2015, this building underwent a major renovation to convert the former library into new faculty spaces, practice and rehearsal rooms, lecture halls, and more to meet the current and future needs of our growing campus. The Saab is now equipped to help faculty prepare their students for the real world. Thanks to a new recording studio, improved classrooms, rehearsal and practice spaces, and advanced technology and equipment. Let's go take a look. For the first stop on our tour, we are on the first floor of the Saab, where the School of Music utilizes seminar rooms to practice small ensemble work and also allows students to collaborate with other artists via Zoom carts. 20 new rehearsal rooms have been added to help students practice in their own individual space. Last year, um, when the pianists were still practicing in the Gray Building, we actually were in much smaller rooms, so the sound was reverberating a lot in the smaller space, but since this is considerably larger, I can hear what I'm playing without the sort of echo that happens, so I find that I can work with the sound that's actually coming out. When I'm at home practicing, I, um, I find so many things to be distracted by, and when I come here, it's like the main goal and um, is just practicing focusing and I feel like I get so much more done when I'm here. <laughs> Having this instrument where I can focus on the more artistic elements of my playing, like getting exactly the sound that I want, um, helps me to take it to the stage. One of the exciting features of this new renovation is the new recording studio, which we're walking to right now, updated with state-of-the-art technology for students at UNCSA to expand their education. This space will primarily be used as a laboratory learning environment for our students. Playing in a recording studio is different than a live performance. That's a specialized skill that you can't acquire without a recording studio like this. They'll be able to train with faculty using the latest technology, uh, the best equipment, similar or better to what they'd find in a professional recording studio. This will allow our students to be able to walk in and with a limited amount of training, make amazing quality video and audio of their performances. But what makes it so useful and unique for us here on campus with the huge variety of performance venues that we have here is that the person sitting in this chair will be able to uh, use this workspace to record in all those performance venues throughout campus using a specialized uh, networking platform. We can produce a huge variety of content, uh, not just classical acoustic performances, but also commercial music and jazz music, uh, voiceover, podcast, narration, anything. This is gonna be a fantastic resource for everyone on campus. We're now walking to the multi-purpose room, which can be reserved by any school on campus for classes or small ensemble rehearsals. The space is also integrated with multimedia technology, including a projector and a sound system. This room is just so spacious. The natural light is amazing in here. And as I'm working with the classically trained singers, having a piano is really an amazing thing because at some point they're gonna sing, obviously, in this class, right? They've been used to being in a practice room, so then trying to help them to take risks as actors in song is something that this room is really helpful for because it's just it's this open, free feel going through. I just love the fact that it has tables that move very, very easily, depending on what's happening in class. And if I scoot all the tables back toward the window, then we have lots of space in order to, you know, really take up this whole area as well. But just the openness of the space is really beautiful and it has really good, both natural and artificial light. We are now walking toward the Saab's third floor event space. This area includes two multi-purpose spaces and has an outside terrace overlooking Daniels Plaza. The space is equipped with large screen TVs and AV technology for meetings, conferences, events, and even classes. The suite also has its own restrooms, coat check, and catering kitchen, making it a wonderful event space. Well, you know, we're very excited about the opening of this space. It's all got state-of-the-art audio-visual, and so we look forward to doing more presentations. We look forward to doing more productions and uh, showcases. I think in the future, we're looking forward to opening it up to the community. We have such uh, wonderful performance facilities, but this uh, gives us an opportunity to sort of combine a performance 
opportunity, but also a reception area so that people can have a more informal discussion. It also gives us a chance to bring people into the center of campus and showcase everything about UNCSA. One of the things that's really exciting about this space too is that it's not just for receptions, it's not just for board meetings, it actually is gonna be used as an additional classroom space. And you know, a lot of our classrooms don't have this size and scope to it. They also don't have the audio visual um, capabilities that this room has. I don't think anybody anticipated how big of a role Zoom and online is gonna be, but we now have the capability of not only doing live streaming, but also being able to uh, bring people into campus from around the, the country. Um, this is gonna be a really fantastic addition to our classroom space, and that'll continue even after COVID and expand. We are now across campus and about to enter the newly named Alex Ewing Performance Place. This building has been renamed in honor of Chancellor Emeritus, Alex E. Ewing, whose $5 million gift was the lead gift in Powering Creativity, the campaign for UNCSA, and was one of the largest gifts in the school's history. The Alex Ewing Performance Place is currently being transformed into a state-of-the-art training facility and performance venue, and boasts numerous upgrades and renovations. This massive renovation is nearing its conclusion just as Powering Creativity, the campaign for UNCSA, is coming to a close, giving it a fitting conclusion. Now, we are about to enter the iconic Friedman Theater, where most of the renovation has been focused. UNCSA looks forward to welcoming students and patrons back for performances very soon. I think the most exciting thing is actually the equipment, right? So we've bought a lot of equipment. We've been lucky enough to purchase really state-of-the-art lighting fixtures, new lighting consoles. The Scenic Automation Program was able to get a new, uh, it's called a navigator hoist system that allows them to move the scenery that we use inside of the Friedman Theater. New acoustic panels, um, new sound uh, insulation in some of the acoustic panels. Everyone's actually been able to get a little bit of the budget to take care of some of the deficits that our programs have had. We have a better lighting system, a better audio system than some of the Broadway shows that are out there. So we've really gone a major leap in terms of technicality and our production standards are likely going to change because of that. So on the sides of the theater, you can see new oak wood floors. That actually used to be where the audience would be located. We haven't actually used that since um, the mid 90s because we've had curtains that used to exist on each side of the stage. So what we're able to do with this now is because we have a completely flat surface, we can have more scenery off stage. We can have scenery that is larger, heavier. We can have wagons. We can have different types of shows use the facility in a wider venue because now we can go wider than what we were able to before. So this is going to really change the way that we design scenery. Primarily what we do here is we're trying to educate and prepare the students for what they're going to see when they graduate and they hit that professional market. I think one of the biggest changes that the audience is going to see is actually going to be the theater itself. When everyone comes in, they see that we have all new seats, we have all new carpet. Uh, the theater used to be blue. Uh, the entire facility was painted black it's going to look and feel different. And that was really one of the biggest goals of the project was not only to put cutting edge technology in the students' hands, but also make the theater a little bit nicer for the patrons to come to as well. Thank you for joining us on our tour of UNCSA's new living and learning environments. Thanks to your support, UNCSA continues to be a leader and pioneer in the arts industry. The addition of spaces like these allows us to push the boundaries of what we can do and helps us better shape the artists of tomorrow.